Do you have any question before we start? Or we just go through the normal procedure, go through the questions? Hmm. Okay. Do you have question? No. We still okay. Less than twenty five. I maybe I will. Medium, medium. Yes. I want. I want to ask. Uh, uh, will any uh, apply when there is loot only? Eh? When? When there is loot? Uh, not, nece not necessary to have load. If you go through our, our video, we we have one question, one example uh, without the load attached to the terminus A and B, right? And the second example, we had the, the load attached to this uh terminal a and b so uh if you have the load then you need to remove in order to find the uh, voltage and uh, the resistor. resistor. but if you don't have then just use whatever circuit that you have hmm. okay not necessary to have the load attached to that our second example because uh the question asks you to find current flowing through the load that's why they put attached to the load Hmm. Okay. Ada. Uh, uh -huh. Alright. Okay. Other question before we start. We still have less than twenty five people. Okay, twenty five. Jump. Okay. Right, tak apa kita start je. They will uh, check the video later. So, in our first example here from Sister Honey, uh, from example 4.38, okay, 4.38, the question asks you to find, to find V not, V not at this part. Uh, so, where is the termi terminals A and B? Ada tak? 4.38 Okay, no terminals, right? Apply the Venn theorem to find V node in the circuit of this. So we assume that the terminals is at here. Okay. So what should you do? Tapi kejap, kalau kita di hmm, Ah, betul lah. Hmm. Alright. Uh, so we assume that the terminus is at AB. At AB. And then you need to remove the load. Uh, like Honey, our group from Honey uh, used to do it here. And what she attempt is first to find VTH. Okay. So if in order to find BTH, you need to remove the load. Okay, that's good. Uh, oh, kejap, Hani tak, Hani tak remove this one. Uh, tak apa. And then, itulah nanti kejap, eh. saya nak fikir sekejap. Hmm. Hmm. The question is supposed to give some terminals, tapi uh, I assume that it's supposed to be the terminal is at here at A and B because uh, the question asks you to find uh, V node. Kalau V node ni, we need to say from the question, apply the Venn theorem to find V node in the circuit. So, meaning to say the V node is uh, a voltage drop across 10 ohms. Okay. The uh, Venn theorem. Theorem, okay. Theorem, okay, okay. Itulah tu. Okay, usually in our uh, example, not example, in, in the exam, they will give you the terminals, like A and B. So when, when they give you terminals A and B, uh, automatically, usually that one is your load. Like in our example here, if 10 ohms is the, the load, then you need to remove the load. But there's still 
a voltage here. Uh, I assume here the, the one they, they ask you is actually the VTH. VTH across the terminals. If this is the terminal A and B, you need to remove the load here. And then if this is removed, uh, then uh, this part is okay to, to, to keep as it is because we want to find VTH. And, and then when you remove that, the V node is at here and which is equal to VTH. And then, uh, what else? You have, like in our uh, example here, our sister, she used source transformation. Transform it into this, voltage in series with 16 ohms. Okay, and then uh, this is, Correct or not? 16 into 3, yes, 48. And then she has this 16 and 4 coming from here. And then 5, this, this, yeah, correct. And then uh, she further transform. She do this one first. And then this is 20. 48 with 20, she transform this part into this. Okay, this is correct. And the direction is so correct. And then she transformed also this part into this part, okay? And the current is 12 divided by 5, yes, okay? And this is correct, okay? And yeah, bear in mind that V node is at here, okay? Right, and then this 2.4 and 2.4 here you can add you get 44.8 and then this part because 20 and 5 here they are parallel so she she used the parallel rules and she got this and then what is this one jap kenapa tiba-tiba kat sini hmm okay okay uh honey this part it's it's not supposed to be at that that side. It's supposed to be here, uh -huh. and then these two are correct. But one ohms there is supposed to be at this side. Okay, one ohm, and then if you have that, you want to. This is a 4.8 and here 4, this is 1, this is 10. Uh, this, for this kind of example, even though she didn't remove this part, the 10 ohms, uh, I still consider this one as correct be because the question uh, did not give you any terminals like A and B here. So if you remove it or not, I still uh, accept it because uh, the question asks you to find V node at this part. Uh, the, the question, if you look at the question, it asks you to apply Thevenin theorem to find this, okay? And they did not mention any term And if you transform this, you will get this. And with four here. And 4.8 into four. You get 19.2. Okay. And then you have 
And over here you have one ohms, and this is ten. Jap, tak cantik. Eh? This is four. This is one. This is ten. Okay. So four plus one, you have five there, and V naught is at here. So V naught is equal to nineteen point two into ten. Divide by 10, oh, 10, 10 plus 5, okay, and you get some value there, 19.2, you get 12.8, 12.8, okay, so this is 12.8 uh, volt for VTH. And then the RTH is, okay, let's look at the answer for RTH. Uh, for RTH, what you need to do is, uh, you need to, if you have the load, then you, you need to remove the load, okay? But for the sources, independent sources, you need to, um, what we call it, turn off. Turn off this, and she did it, and this is, uh, voltage source, turn off it by replacing with a short circuit. And the current source, replace it with a open circuit. So this is correct. And then what left only the resistor. So by looking from this side, R equivalent is equal to RTH. Okay, and then uh, if you want to solve this type of question, you uh, uh, solve it furthest away from the terminals A and B. So meaning to say you need to start from here. Okay, 4 and 60, yes, you, need, you can plus, you can add both. So this is 20, and then parallel with 5. Uh, honey, please do not, do not simply um, change the, the, uh, the, the resistor you want to place. Like this one, it is at this side, right? So it's supposed to be, like cantik it's supposed to be here, not here. So this and this you can combine. And 20 with 5, yes. Uh, it becomes 20, 25 now. 20 and 5, use your calculator, you will get 4. four. This is four of this part, you will get five and ten. This is A and B. So this side, five and ten, you will have what? Three point three three. So R equivalent is equal to three point three three ohms. And this is R T H. Since the question did not specify you the load, so it's okay not to turn off the any load there because there's no terminals A and B, right? So I assume that this is uh, correct. Mm. Okay. Right. Number one done. So far, so good. Is it clear? But do not worry. In our example, we will give you the the hint, where is the terminals A and B. Uh, all right, uh, let's go to our second example. Example practice. Second practice, maybe from where? Group number B, group number one. Oh, how many times so? Okay. Right. Group number one. 
Semua tak ada terminus eh. Ya <laughs> kan? 4.33. 4.33. Oh ni pun tak ada. Determine the tabernacle equivalent circuit shown in this as seen by 5 ohms. Ya yeah, seen by this 5 ohm. Then calculate the current flowing through 5 ohm. We need to say here uh, this is the load. Okay. Seen by this and the current through this. So we need to say you need to remove this resistor 5 ohms. Okay. Uh, okay. So find VTH. Yes. Remove this. Okay. Then V open circuit is equal to V tabernacle. Ah, good job. Uh, this one. Uh, our Afik, our brother Afik groups, they use the SAS transformation. So 4 into 10, you will get 40. And then 40 here with 10 here. Uh, yes, this is correct. And this one coming to here. Okay. And you will get this. Basically, if you stop like this also, actually this, this RTH, uh, this one is actually the RTH and this is the VTH. Uh, it is the same. If you further do using the, the Tavernier rules, this one you need to short circuit. Yes, correct. And then you have 10 and then 10. Looking from this side, R equivalent is equal to RTH. Then this plus this, you will get 20. Same, right? Same as your previous steps. So this is the way. And then it asks you to find current through 5 ohms. Okay. Okay. So current is equal to 40 divided by 20 plus 5. So yes, correct. Then this is correct. Yeah, very good. All right. Next group number two. Tak ada. Number three, no, four. Number four, or oh, number three ada. Shiham. Do, do you have any question? Or maybe the the first uh, group, group from Hani, uh, we we have some problem there because the question does not specify the, the load coming from where, right? So only that will confuse you. I will uh, check the answer from the textbook. If what we did discuss uh, got this discrepancy, I will let you know, okay? So 4.37 uh, from group number three, okay? This part, ask you 4.37 find the I, I ask you to change um tethering equivalent with respect to terminals a and b okay like this so meaning to say this is your load uh all right so the aim first to find tethering then uh where is the load the 12 ohms so you need to remove the 12 ohms like our brother's group here, brother Shiham. Uh, yes, he he removed the load 12 ohms. Tapi ni kerja. Madam. Yes. I got the wrong question because I use textbook edition six. Oh, okay, okay. But the the your load is six k. Eh? No, this is a different question. Oh, different question. Okay, okay. All right. No problem. Then I will uh, use your question here. All right. Okay. I will okay. use this. So, uh, you need to remove the load here. The 6 kilo ohms. Okay. And then maybe uh, he transformed this part, right? So, uh, you need to remove this. This one. Because it's it's clearly stated that six kilo ohm is your load. Okay, then this one, all right, all right. This one thirty divided by twenty. You should get one point five milli, yes, and then the twenty kilo. All right, good. 
And then this part and this part you can plus. So that's why you get 7.5 here. And then 20 with 10, you, if you use the calculator, you will get yes, 6.67 6, 6, kilo ohms. Yes. Please uh, don't forget the milli and kilo. Okay. But before that, please specify this is the VTH. Okay, done. And then uh, I think she he further transformed this part. And then 7.5 into 6.667. I guess uh, this is a correct answer. And this also correct. Uh, this one no need to place here. And then the VTH is actually... Mm. Oh, the VTH is 50, not not this part and, and this is no, no. Uh, why? Because this is an open circuit at the at the terminals A and B. And you will get the current flowing through open circuit is equal to zero. So there's no voltage drop across here. And you have the VTH is actually equal to 50 volt. All right. And then the RTH is basically equal to this value. But if you do the, the normal steps, you need to turn off this part, short circuit this part, and then uh, remove this load, and then open circuit this part. So what left only? the 20 kilo ohms and 10k and this is our equivalent looking from this side so 10 plus 20 you get the 30 kilo ohms 20 kilo ohms yeah okay Silap sedikit, kerja. Kamu ni salah. Hmm. Ada silap sikit. Thirty with the thirty here. This ten and twenty. Um, this is series betul. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, brother. Jejak. Saya rasa the way you tr translate this one, transform this part, uh, is basically like this. Okay. You, you want to transform this part, right, into parallel of this. Tapi nya, it's supposed to be at this side. 20 kilo ohms. And then the current direction is this way. Ah, uh, pandan lah. Okay. And then uh, it, value... Yes, correct. You have uh, 30 divided by 20. You get 1.5 milli. Uh -uh. 1.5 milli amps. Macam So this is not correct. And then you have it like this. So sekarang ni, ini tak ada. Okay, it's like this. Okay, jap. Rasa mungkin tak nampak sangat kot kalau macam ni. Macam um, eh. It becomes like this. This current source in parallel with 20k, 1.5 milli. And then this is an A. And then this is B. Resistor here, 10k. And move this. And then this is 6 milli M. Imagine. Okay, sekarang ni, this side is not attached to this side. Okay, it's not attached. So, it is not parallel. You cannot simply add 6 milliamps dengan 1.5. 1.5, no. So, what should you do? Um, maybe you want to further transform or you going to use, since you want to find VTH here. So, what should you do? Uh, if you want to apply nodal analysis here, po, okay, no problem. So if this is the nodal analysis here, you have uh, over here maybe V1. Actually. 
and then maybe this is macam ni. Hmm. So you apply KCL at V1. So what is V1 equal to? 6 mD since this is entering V1 and then plus 1.5 because entering V1 from coming this side, coming from this side and then equal to V1 minus 0 divided by 10K and then plus V1 minus VTH divided by 20K. And then multiply by 20K. Okay. You, if you multiply by 20K, you will get 6 into 20, 120 plus 1.5 into uh, 20, you get 30. Okay, and then equal to uh, this one, 2v1 plus 2v1 minus 2vth. Uh, two 2vth, two, two eh? Bukan, bukan. Sorry, sorry. Nampak tak? Macam oh, mana? This one becomes v1 minus vth. Is it okay? And then this is 150 equal to 3V1 minus VTH. This is the first uh, equation. Okay. And then do you have a, a second equation or, or is it? Yeah, yeah. You have a second equation which is the VTH at VTH. So V1 minus VTH divided by 20K uh, uh, equal to the current 1.5. And uh, multiply by 20K. Kalau saya salah, tolong highlight kan because uh, people make mistake. Okay. Then 20 multiplied by 1.5, you get 30. Mm -mm. And this is the second equation. So the first and second, you can use your, your calculator uh, to find the PTH. Sekejap, dapat berapa ni? Anyone? Mm, if this is an equation, you have two unknowns. A1 is equal to 3. Negative one. Jump One. Negative one. And thirty. So you get V one equal to sixty and V two equal to thirty. V two is actually V two. Hmm. Okay, so VTH is 30 volt. VTH uh, uh -uh. is 30 volt. Okay, uh, done. Okay, macam And then we will look at, betul tak, your resistor. Of, of, yeah, 30K. Uh -uh. So, uh, this is the correct answer. Uh -uh. Uh, why? Because... Uh, the way you transform it, it's it not supposed to be at the middle part here. Just so you change the highlighter. It's not supposed to be at this side. It's supposed to be at this side. And then you can use whatever method you have. Like this one, I use nodal analysis and you will get the VTH equal to 30 volt. And for VTH, it's quite uh, straightforward. Uh, you just apply uh, the short shorted path from VTH, uh, v, v source and uh, open circuit for replace the, the current source with open circuit and then you will get the 20k plus 10k you get 30 uh, kilo ohms. So is it uh, clear or you 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 still confused? The RTH is equal to 30 kilo ohms. 
coming from where, coming from uh, this side. It's about uh, if you if you shot if you do this part, this is uh, it becomes like this. This is twenty k and this is ten k and this is R equivalent, which is equal to thirty kilo ohms. Okay, oh, like this. Okay, uh, confused. Do, do you are you clear or not? So, madam, for sure. the evening equivalent, uh, uh -huh. you always need to remove uh, the load at terminal AB. Uh, yeah, terminals A and B. Uh -uh. Remove the load first because uh, for this 4.37. Uh, it is clearly stated that terminals A and B is at this load, load 6K, right? 6K. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, so you need to remove the load. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. All right, uh, let's go to our next example. Maybe from group four. Well, we missed group number two, right? Uh, still not there, okay. Group number four, money number four. That there, group number five lah. You dinner. Four point three nine. Obtain the Thevenin equivalent at terminus A and B. But since our terminus in A and B does not attach with any load, right? So it's already open. So you don't need to uh, remove any load. Okay. And then, uh, yes, let's look at the answer here. First, she wants to find um, RTH. I suppose RTH because she uh, replaced the 24 volt here with short circuit at this part. Okay, and then the current source here, she removed the, uh, this part. So this is correct. Okay, then the R equivalent is looking from this side. Uh, okay, how to approach this? You need to solve furthest away from terminals A and B, which is this part first. They are in series. So that's why Irdina answer have this 10 plus 10. And then it is parallel with this end to end. That's why you have it parallel with 5, then plus with 16 here. Yeah, this is correct. Okay, I hope the answer here correct. And then the second part, Irdina, uh, it is better to draw the circuit. So, uh, because the circuit will carry you certain marks. Like this, maybe 2.5. And then for the, uh, the VTH, is basically uh, this one because uh, load is already removed so i will take this one as your vth okay this is your vth and then i think she she used node analysis tapi kat sini macam there's no no sign of node analysis so i will assume that she used this circuit and she put the nodal here all right and then KCL at node 1. Uh, yeah, she put the node 1 here, V1, node 3 here, and V2 here. It's better to name node V2 here as a VTH because you know that this is a VTH at this side, right? So node 2 is supposed to be VTH. Okay, all right. KCL at node 1. So I assume she used the direction as a Let's look at here, V1 minus V3 divided by 10. So where's that 10? V1 minus V3. So she's the current direction of hers is this way. V1 minus V3 divided by 10 and then plus V1 over 5. So we need to say, oops, V1 this side. V1 minus 0 divided by 5. Uh, and then uh, V1 minus V2 divided by 16. I'm supposed that way. So this is correct. Then 
KCL at V2. At this side, you have V1 minus V2 divided by 16, yes. And then, yeah, correct. And then KCL at V3, you have V3 minus, uh, minus this. This is 24. So it's supposed to be like this the current direction okay and then this is equal to zero v3 minus 10 and then current direction entering the v3 so the minus net minus 3 there and then you have v1 minus v3 v1 minus v3 over 10 but uh, since this is at this side so you have a plus v3 minus okay this is correct and I, I'm supposed the all the answer here correct. So, tapi you need abe or abe this. Okay. Um, you have how many unknowns? Three. So, if you simplify this, uh, it's better to get three equations and then you will get the answer. I'm not sure this answer is correct or not. Uh, you can find it, but you need to simplify this in the best way lah. Uh, ni macam complicated sikit lah. Mm. So uh, please check the answer. Uh, if you get it correct, you can compare with group your dinner. Okay, but the, the step is correct. Hmm. Okay, but final answer, please do in terms of this. This is what? RTH equal to 20 ohms. And PTH equal to what? You, if you get the answer, then you, you state what answer you have. So I'm supposed the answer is correct. Okay, good. Right, let's look at group five done, group six, I think. Or oh, group four. Eh, four done. Honey done. Group five done. Group two, and a group two, no, no two. Maybe group eleven, the last group. Okay, honey done. Uh, Uncle Sufian. This one quite complicated, skip because they give you four point four four two. Two ways. For circuit in 4.11.1111, obtain the Thevenin equivalent as seen from the terminals. Terminals, but me question B from BC. So from this side. Since you already, uh, there's no load because there's no load here. So it's already open circuit. And then uh, the first aim is to find RTH if you look at the Kusufian answer here. Um, okay, and he uh, opened the circuit for this part. Yes, correct. This is correct. And then this is the R equivalent. Okay, and then he solved this part. This is a series. Okay, and 4 plus 3 plus 2. Yes, this is 9. And then 5. Yeah, correct. VTH is this part. And then what he used, this is, I think, yeah, he used the source transformation, right? So this is 9. And then 9. Oh, good job. It's supposed 9 divided by oh, okay. 24 divided by 9. Then you will get 24 divided by 9. 2.667. And uh, is it correct? Yeah, yeah, it's correct. Okay, this is 5, 2. This one plus this, you will get. 4.667. Okay, betul. And 9 with 5. 3.2 something. Yes, correct. 
Okay, and then further transform this, you will get, um, yeah, yeah, this is correct. Okay, good. So RTH, if you look at the answer for this, is same, right, as your uh, step from here. So this is to check whether your answer is correct or not. So yeah, good. Okay, very good. Group number seven, can you? The last group, I think, uh, 10 or 11. I think group number 11. Okay. With that, do you have any question? Um, because we already 11.30 now. Do you have any question? Or is it too? <laughs> no, we don't. No. Uh, so the, the key step is to remove the load and then just apply. How to find RTH and VTH. Okay. Uh, I think with that, we finish our class with Tasbika Farah and Surat Al As. You can uh, WhatsApp me if you WhatsApp. Lah. Telegram me, message me if you want to ask uh, further question. Okay. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Okay.